guys, so I'm kicking off the summer movie season. Well, technically it was already kicked off with Avengers Age of Ultron. However, we're going to kick it off on my channel, talking about a movie that's kind of about spring break, but also it's got a very summer feel to it, Piranha. The Piranha movie from 2010 starring Elizabeth Shue and Ving Rhames, um, and uh, aka Piranha 3D. Let's talk about the plot first before we kind of get into a bunch of stuff, a bunch of details and whatnot. We're, we, it's set in this town, and it's spring break, and you know, everyone's doing their thing. It kind of reminds me of like a Fort Lauderdale, Florida type thing, you know. Um, it's a big old spring break bash, and we meet Elizabeth Shue, who is a single mom, and she's the sheriff of this town, because I'm the sheriff. Um, and uh, all of a sudden, there's something that happens in the lake, and a bunch of piranha get freed from where they were enclosed at. And they kind of just go on a rampage and start killing people. Meanwhile, you have Elizabeth Shue's son in the film named Jake. I, and forgive me, I don't know the actor who played him off the top of my head right now. Um, but we meet Jake, who is this normal teenage, you know, guy, you know. He's, uh, he's very into girls. He's horny. He, it's spring break. And he gets invited onto Jerry O'Connell's boat. And Jerry O'Connell is kind of like a producer for a Girls Gone Wild type show, and so we have that going on as well. Now, let's talk about Piranha. What do I think about Piranha? We're going to talk about all that. Um, Piranha gets a lot of shit, and um, if you just, if you go and, if you start this movie and you start analyzing it from start to finish, yeah, it's a bad movie. I don't think there's really any denying that, because it's not that good of a movie. It's got a great cast, but it's not that good of a movie. But, I will say that I enjoy this movie. I do. Now you're saying, but if it's a bad movie, why do, I, why do I enjoy it? Because this movie is not made to be a good movie. Um, it's made to just be fun. It's a fun time. It's a fun hour and a half of your day. Um, so when you start this movie, you just gotta turn your brain off. Just go into it just to have fun. Because it is fun. It's a lot of fun. Let's talk about some of the cast. I said Elizabeth Shue is in this movie. And Elizabeth Shue is is amazing she's hot she's a great actress she's in my top 10 hollywood crushes for sure not in the top five uh not in the top five at all but definitely in the top 10 i just love elizabeth shue and her character in this film uh i'm forgetting the character julie julie was her name i believe i don't remember um but that that character she's so good and elizabeth shue portrays her so perfectly for what the character is I mean because you got to think she's a single mom right so she cares about her kids and but she's also the sheriff so she has to make sure, sure that her town is safe so not only does she have a family that she has to worry about she has to worry about a whole town and when the whole piranha thing is going down you can tell that she's trying to make sure everyone is safe everybody in the town all the spring breakers all the college kids and her kids so, I really admire, admire that. I love the way Elizabeth Shue played her. Um, Jerry O'Connell. Yes, the fat kid from Stand By Me. I love Jerry O'Connell. I, I do. I, pretty much anything Jerry O'Connell is in, I'll, I'll give a shot. Um, but him in this movie, though, as that Girls Gone Wild producer, uh, you know, his name was Derek, I believe, which is funny because his name in Scream 2 was Derek also. Um... But anyway, Derek's a dick. He is. And, you know, he's not one of those, oh, he's so, he's such a dick, but I love the dude. Is he kind of like that? Not really, but in a way he is, because I, it's just, it's, it's Jerry O'Connell, you know, so I do kind of like the character. Uh, he's a dick, though, so he's very, very hard to like. Um, so if you like Jerry O'Connell, I mean, there's, there's that. Um, Ving Rhames is in this movie. Um, he's playing like the deputy of, that's like just a step below Elizabeth Shue. And I love Ving Rhames. Again, Ving Rhames is another guy where you can put him in anything and I'll at least give it a shot. And a lot of times, it turns out great. Um, like I'm probably going to review the Death Race movies at some point. He's in two of the three of the Death, Mo Death Race movies that I'm going to review. So, uh, um, I'll talk more about Ving Rhames then maybe. But, uh, Ving Rhames, this movie... The only thing I was disappointed in when it comes to Ving Rhames' character 
is he didn't have enough screen time. I felt like Ving Rhames deserved a little bit more screen time, but that's not that big of a deal. Also, Adam Scott is in here. Again, I love Adam Scott. This movie has a great cast. Uh, Adam Scott is great in this movie. He's not as funny as he usually is, but then again, this is a horror movie. But it's a fun horror movie, and there are lots of jokes. There's definitely humor in this movie. Um, but being that there is a lot of humor in this movie, Adam Scott doesn't deliver too many of the jokes in this film. That was a little bit underwhelming, but whatever. Um, yeah, you also get a couple of very cool cameos in this movie, and if you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to give away what context is or how long they're in the movie, but I will mention... Richard Dreyfuss has a cameo, which is cool because he's back in the water and Jaws and everything like that. So seeing Richard Dreyfuss in there for a minute was cool. Um, also, Doc Brown himself, Christopher Lloyd, has an appearance in this movie. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this movie's got a great cast. Let's talk about the Piranha themselves. Um, are the Piranhas vicious? Yes. Was I ever really afraid of them? No. There was no... <coughs> Excuse me. There was really no suspense when it came to the piranha uh kind of like i was kind of you know with s movies about like killer fish or whatever um you kind of want there to be that you know suspense and stuff that jaws was able to capture back in the day and i will be talking about jaws this summer movie season don't worry about that but um you know i wish there was more suspense with the piranha but like i said you gotta kind of turn your brain off for this movie it's just a fun movie and uh, there's really no spoilers I can talk about, or at least that I want to talk about. Um, but I really do have fun with this movie. I can see why a lot of people hate it. It is a bad movie, but it's fun. I have fun with it. And uh, so just turn your brain off whenever you watch it. At least in my opinion. But my rating for Piranha is, uh, like I said, all the... I have a lot of positives, but I also have some negatives. It's kind of like an evened out thing. Very fun movie, though. Well, like, like I said, um, I'm probably going to give Piranha... I'll give it a solid... Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I, I'm going to give Piranha a solid B. A, a solid B. <coughs> Ooh. Excuse me. I'm giving Piranha from 2010, Piranha 3D, a, a solid B. Have you guys seen this movie? Uh, what do you guys think of it? Comment down below and let me know. Also, uh, what is your favorite, um, like, a horror movie involving water? For example, Jaws, Piranha, Open Water, Deep Blue Sea. That's a good one. I should review that one. Like, what is your favorite horror slash thriller involving water? Um, comment down below and let me know. And, yeah. Well, see you later.